Hey, this is Spiros from The Self-Help Photographer. Welcome to the tutorial videos. These videos are exclusively for you, my email subscribers, and I want to thank you for being part of this. I'm doing these to help you overcome the technical hurdles of photography so that you can create the kinds of images you want to create. Today's topic is how a camera works. Now, when you think of a camera, you probably think of something like this or this. But these are fancy ass machines that have way more parts and features than you need to actually just make a camera. So how do you make a camera? I'm glad you asked. You actually only need four things. First thing you need, a light sensitive material. Used to be film, now it's a microchip called a camera sensor. Item number two, a box. And the third thing you need, it's actually nothing extra. You need a hole in the box. This is called an aperture. Item number four, it's a shutter. Yeah, like on your windows. All right, so four things, you can make a camera. Let me explain how it works. All right, now hold on a second. I just realized I forgot something. I have to explain exposure. In photography, exposure is the total amount of light that falls on a subject and reflects into the camera for the film to record it, or the camera sensor in our case. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, here's how it all works together. You need that box to protect the camera sensor from all the light in the world being recorded by it. So you put it inside a box. When it's inside that box, you have to let light in somehow. So you put a hole in the box to let light come inside and fall on the camera sensor. And you put a shutter over that hole so that you can control when light comes in and when light doesn't. So what the hell does this have to do with exposure? Well, you see, the controlled recording of light inside of a camera that's an exposure. So you make a camera so that you can make an exposure. Otherwise that sensor, it just records everything. And when you record all the light in the world, your pictures look like this. Let's put this all together and see how it works. I'm going to demonstrate with this. The back part of the camera is the actual box. The film would go in here, and this right here, this cloth piece I'm touching, that's the shutter. Allows you to take a picture, let light in. We've got an opening on the front of our box, but this is not our actual aperture. On modern day cameras, the aperture is inside the lens. In a pinhole camera, the pinhole is tiny enough to focus the light. This is what the aperture looks like in a lens. And that gives us control, and control is good. Now a digital camera is even more different than a film camera is to a pinhole camera, because the image sensor is always receiving light. That's what allows us to have live preview. The difference is the computer tells it not to record any information until we're ready to record. So what I've shown you today is the critical components in making a camera and a three-stage evolution in how cameras work. That's all I've got for you today. Now I want you to do me a couple favors. First, hit the like button for this video. Second, subscribe to this channel. Third thing I want you to do is leave a comment or a video response and tell me two things. Number one, any feedback you may have in these videos for me. And number two, any photography topics you want me to cover in these videos. Now get out there and take some damn pictures.